Welcome to Jules Math Tools, where math is made easy. In today's session, we will be applying the distributive property when we're simplifying expressions. We're going to begin simplifying our expression by applying our first step, which is the distributive property. We're going to be distributing our terms outside of our brackets to everything inside of their respective brackets. So we'll begin by distributing our a to everything inside of the first bracket. a times q will equal 8q, a times 5 will equal 40, and now we're going to multiply our negative 4 to everything inside of its bracket. So negative 4 times q will equal negative 4q, negative 4 times negative 3 will equal positive 12. Now that we've applied our distributive property to our parentheses, we're now going to move on to our second step, which is to identify and collect our like terms. In our expression, our first set of like terms are 8q and 4q, so we're going to collect those terms and group them together. I want you to also notice that in the expression, I also circle the minus sign in front of our 4q. That's because whenever we collect or we move a term, we always move that term with the sign that's in front of the term. Our second set of like terms would be our remaining 40 and our number 12. Both of these numbers are constants and since they are both numbers, they are considered like terms. So we're going to also group those two numbers together. Now that we've collected and identified our like terms, we're now going to move on to our third step, which is to calculate. So we're now going to calculate our respective like terms together. So 8q will subtract 4q, which will equal 4q, and 40 plus 12 will equal 52. So now that we've simplified our expression, our answer will be 4q plus 52. And remember that you never simplify or calculate unlike terms. Let's review what we did today. In our first step, we applied our distributive property by multiplying our terms outside of our parentheses by everything inside of their respective parentheses. In our second step, we identified and then grouped or collected our like terms together. Remembering to also move the term with the sign that's in front of it. And in our third and final step, we calculated all of our like terms together. Remembering that once we've calculated those like terms, we do not calculate our expression any further because we never work out unlike terms. Now that you know how to apply the distributive property to simplify expressions with two parentheses, it's now time for you to perform your most important step, which is to practice. Remember, it's only through practice will you become a better mathematician. So ensure that you click the link in the description box below, which will take you to a worksheet where you can further develop your skills in simplifying expressions like the ones we did today. Until next time, this is Jules Math Tools, where math is made easy.